Hey, just so you guys know, we are going to be doing the Pimp My Back. <laughs> Print my spine, Pimp My Back. Yo, dog, I heard you like vertebra, so we stacked vertebra on your vertebra. But, Prusa Slicer, one hour ago, just dropped the 2.4 Alpha. So I want to review it real quick. We were going, hopefully going to have a video out on Monday. Like, I'm like pushing it to be for Monday. So we'll see what happens. And I have a call coming in through the business line. I'll be right back. Oh, my mic was off. God, what a freaking amateur. It's amateur hour over here at the at 3D Musketeers. How's everybody doing today? My volume is very high. Let me turn that down. Because hilariously, your volume and my volume are separate. But yeah, Prusa Slicer just dropped the alpha. 2.4, uh, and oh my god, it solved so many things that I had problems with, and reasons why I used other slicers for certain things, and I'm really happy about this. We're hopefully going to have a full video out Monday, and it's currently Wednesday, so that should give you an idea of how quick... Some days we're turning videos around in like 24 hours, so this one gives us a little bit of time to prepare, but... Let me get rid of Big Grant. Let's take a look at Little Grant here. And this is their GitHub release notes because of course, Precisor 2.4 is open source, which is awesome. Uh, and so this enables us to see what they're doing. A lot of this is all around multi-material, which we don't have. I don't wanna deal with that right now. I'll wait for the next MMU to come out. Um, brand new stuff for bridging. Support material is so much better. Like, you don't have all this extra crap. It's just a little bit of support that you need. Oh my god, that's so much better. This was something that I hated about Prusa Slicer, is that it would truncate supports through your model. Now it looks like it is solving that considerably better than it did before. So that is beautiful. Uh, so many cool features. I am excited to show them to you all. But that is not why you are here. You are here because we are, well... We're going to print my back. We're going to print my spine. So let's get rid of that because we don't need that where we're going. We are using Invisalius. Invisalius is open source. The other thing that I've been trying is the uh, 3D slicer. Not Slick 3R. That's for like 3D printing, uh, like slicing. Has not been updated in like three and a half years. Um... 3D Slicer is made for um, medical viewing. So uh, some of you may remember I had a CT myelogram back on the 2nd of July, which was that spinal tap. Uh, and I still hate everything about that. That was an absolutely terrible procedure. I never want to go through it again. But oh well, we're here, so we're just going to do it. Um... The nice thing about CTs versus MRIs, so you have two different types of imaging here. I've had MRIs, and now I've had a CT. MRIs are slices, like individual slices, and when my MRIs were done, they were six millimeter gaps. So you had a slice, six millimeters, another slice, six millimeters, another slice. CT is basically completely straight through, no gap whatsoever, and you'll see the thickness of a CT scan is considerably larger. So. Let's import the medical images first. This should, I was going to say, it should take me to exactly where I need to be. Uh, so let's just import all of that. The first thing you do is you need to get your disc. And so let me, and I'll show you guys. So I pre-prepared this so that I kind of had some idea of what I was doing. But this is my radiology disc from the actual, uh, like, thing. And for those of you that don't know, you see where it's dull on the disc? Or where it's kind of a different color? 
that's the actual data on the disc. You know, fun things. But you gotta get that off the disc and onto your computer so you can load that into these slicer programs. So that's what we're gonna start with here. There are 484 images. A lot of them are superfluous. Some of them are actually complete and utter crap. But yes, you will be seeing inside of my body. So, you know, be kind, I guess. You know, I'm not in the best shape of my life and that background music is bloody annoying. So, we've had streams where people say, I need background music, it's too slow. And now I have ones where people are telling me to turn it off. Let me see if I can find something a little smoother. Let's see what we can find here. Give me just a second. Uh, do, 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 do. There. Something real quiet, nice and easy. We found that engagement's better with uh, longer uh, with music in the stream, so I apologize. I gotta have probably a little bit of something. And it looks like I, I can't do lo-fi. Um, so we have to be careful, of course, because uh, copyright things. So we have a subscription to Monster Cat Gold, and so a lot of what you guys hear in our videos is all Monster Cat music. So this, this is Monster Cat Silk. Um, it's their, I guess, lo-fi style music, so should be pretty easy going, but I'll turn it down. Um, if it's too loud, let me know, because when I change your all's volume, it does not change for me. My volume is, I set it myself on my computer, and because I have a USB DAC, the DAC is where I work on my volume. Your volume is done separately. So I have no idea how loud it is for you guys. <laughs> I just know that somewhere between 27 and 35 dB negative is generally okay. And you're sitting at 32, negative 32 right now. Um, but yeah, these are the actual images. So we can see uh, all the actual images from my spine. And the white that you're seeing is bone. This gray material, that is the actual disc. So here, we can go up through them. You guys can kind of see what's going on here. Now, it's not immediately obvious to me. <laughs> we will see it inside of my body. This stream has taken a sudden turn. You know, Quilon, I'm not exactly certain what you were expecting when I said we're gonna print my spine. Uh, but I feel like you should have known better. I, I will say I did, uh, that's Discord. Where's Bruce's Slicer? There it is. Uh, let me open a new one. I, I, I did Rachel Ray this. I do have one somewhat pre-made. Uh, however, it is Sans Disc. So to give you guys an idea, that is what we're effectively going to be doing. And I'm sorry, that's kind of cool, right? Like, that's my spine. <laughs> it's it's cool. Anyways, uh, we are actually going to be doing it the hard way, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. So, we've got two different ones that I think we can utilize. We've got uh, the bone one here. And you'll see the colors are different. What is the image slice height? Um... looks like 952 to 955 so they are three millimeters thick yep three millimeter thick ct slices um and so you can see things like it was taken 07 of o, uh july 2nd 2021 it shows things like where i got it done university diagnostic institute you can see my birthday you can even see my physician that sent it uh, you can see a lot of things about this, and that is the deal with DICOM data. You do have to be careful because there is a lot of personal information in it. You guys all know my name. Y'all kind of know that I've had back injuries, so I don't mind showing this stuff. But if you get DICOM data from people, understand that you can violate... Like, if this was somebody else's data, I'd be violating HIPAA. But it's my own, so there is no HIPAA. Because I say there isn't. <laughs> 
Uh, so we'll grab these. I think that's what we're really going for. Now, we could grab all of it. But I don't think we want to do that. So, actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's grab all of it. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to import it into Invisalius. And now it's going to bring up the masking. Definitely written DICOM software. It's fascinating stuff. Only had to diagnose someone's colonoscopy. Only once had to diagnose someone's colonoscopy images. I am sorry for your loss, good sir. Uh, that is, that's a tough day. Yes, uh, this is not my greatest moment. Um, actually, I can, here. I'll bring up, I gotta go way back to find it. Look, all the thumbnail photos that I've taken for the company. Uh, where is July 2nd? Where are we? Oh, we're in June. Amber must have taken those photos then. Yeah, Amber must have taken those photos. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, so that's how I was laid for the CT. Um, and so uh, I had a guy saying, yeah, your back is really tweaked. I'm like, well, that wasn't on me. They must not have the pillow aligned right. So I don't have scoliosis that I'm aware of. Anyways. Oh, well, that's a plus. Thankfully, those images are post-clearing out, so I initially didn't know what I was looking at. Well, that that is a plus. Um, I will say we are only streaming to YouTube today, so if you're watching, please make sure to leave a like on the video. And if you're not subscribed, get subscribed, because this is going to be a bit of fun. I guess there is some stuff going on with Twitch, and today's like the day we're not supposed to stream on Twitch, so we're not doing that. And I've decided that I just don't want to keep streaming to Facebook because we get nobody on Facebook. So, um, but yeah, so what you now do is you look at your thresholds. Now, Invisalius comes with pre-tuned thresholds. So if I wanted to look at compact bone for an adult, you'll see that's where the more dense bone is. And all, it, all it's doing is it's looking for certain thresholds within it. And Invisalius makes it easier for us to do that. So if I wanted to go to, and I always hate this one, the fat tissue, right? I, I am not 8% body fat. I weigh like 215 pounds and I'm six foot one. All right. I physically can't work out. Those of you that don't know, I use a cane to walk because I have two messed up discs in my back. This is literally why we're doing all of this. Um, so I'm not in the best shape of my life, but, but you see that's fat tissue. We go to muscle tissue and we're not looking that bad. Am I right, guys? Come on, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. I'm, I'm just saying that ain't bad. <laughs> now, interestingly, we get, and because these thresholds are not perfect, you'll see the area that we're interested in is the highlighted in green. So that's what it thinks is muscle tissue. And it thinks that a disc is muscle tissue. Now, I don't think that it is, but I'm not a nurse and uh, Amber's not here right now. She's actually uh, getting a pedicure with her grandfather, family and such. Um, but yeah, you can see things like the skin. So there's my skin. Like, it's so weird. You can see it up here at my, uh, I think it's up at my shoulders maybe. The skin deadlifts 3D printer. Thankfully, 3D printers are not, well, some of them aren't that heavy. Uh, the ones behind me are, are quite light. I can pick them up. But uh, that one above me, the Fusion 3F410, I think is 90 pounds. Like, and, and it's like 24, uh, how wide is that? That's gotta be at least two, two and a half feet wide. So even if you can lift 90 pounds, your arms are at like full extension and it, it sucks. Thankfully, I bought that printer when I had the back injury and I had other people to lift it for me. That happened to work out pretty well in my favor, if I do say so myself. Um, and if we look, there's also spongial bone, and that's going to get some more of that softer, porous bone. Um, but we're not actually interested too much in the bone. However, spongial bone, we can see, is not picking up the discs. Now, I'm going to go to regular bone. I think it does a better job. Well, no, I guess it doesn't spongial bone all right well, we're gonna first thing you do is you create a surface so let's create a surface and i will let you guys know it is a little hard on computers so 
if I start to lag out for some reason, it's because we're pinning CPU cores to make this happen. Now, I will say they do have an option to utilize a GPU, which I am utilizing. And you can see this program is using, I think like 18% of my 1080 Ti. Um, so these are not amazingly well optimized, but you know, could be worse. So we've got that now. We can go to, go back to region of interest. Oh, it's still, it's still working. I thought it was done. No, it is still going. So we're waiting for it to complete. And there you go. We now have, and this is just of my spine. And I like, I don't really need to see that all that well. I want I want to show you the model. So we can see the steps that are occurring because these are three millimeters thick. We can see these steps that are occurring. But I'm sorry, that's just cool, right? I mean, I don't care who you are. That's just cool. Uh, I love that. It's, it's just, I, I think it's cool. Like, that's my actual spine. Now, in all of these, we get something back here. And I don't know what it is. I believe it's something to do with the table. It makes sense that it might be the table. But you, and uh, you can also see the starting of my ribs. So bottoms, then those are the next ribs there. Uh, what we can do though, is we go to the next step, which is, we can select the, nope. Configure 3D surface, we go to advanced options and we click select largest surface, okay? Cause we don't want any of that extra crap in there. So we'll select largest surface. It got rid of all that extra stuff and it left us with all of this. And this is effectively what I did pre the live stream because I wanted to have something in place for you guys. So that I, you know, in case this thing went to hell in a handbasket, which it very well might because there's a lot of manual work coming up here. But I figured, you know what? This should be a lot of fun for those that have never done this before and have wanted to. Because I know when I got my MRIs, I wanted to do this, but the MRI scan gap was too much and Invisalius could not uh, work with it. And I know, like, come on. If you have the ability to 3D print, you know, your bones and stuff, I'm just thinking of the fun things I can say to people, like when they try to uh, haggle me on price, I'll just mail them a copy of my spine and say, I'm not spineless, here's proof. It's your plate exoskeleton, don't lie. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Uh, my goal is actually to get a decent model of the discs and bone and print it out for my, uh, I have a, another shot this Friday. Um, so I want to print it out for that doctor. He's the kind of guy that would find this kind of thing like incredibly fascinating. Uh, so if we can't get the discs, I'm going to at least do the spine. Uh, so I've, my, my fallback here is if the discs don't work, we do the spine. Uh, so, okay. Now we've got, we've got all that. Now it's going to want us to export the data, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to go back to the region of interest. We're going to make this a little bit smaller and, uh, we're going to select bone we're going to choose a different color it will help things i promise so we're going to choose bone and we've got the difference between the bone and we used uh spongy bone and it looks is there overlap on that i think there might be let's see yes so we do have some overlap and I believe if we go to compact bone, it might just fill in everything that spongy didn't. So let's create a surface. Now we can overwrite the last surface. We don't want to do that because that will delete the model that we currently have and replace it with this, which we don't want to do. We want to actually look at merging them into a single solid body. And that's going to require mesh mixer. I should have thought I need to verify that I have the latest mesh mixer and I can't spell 
So let me get let me get the latest mesh mixer. Uh, make sure that I have that. <laughs> Give me just a second. Uh, that's mesh mixer three point five. What version are you? Open the file location. I mean, I've had it since 2000, 2018. I, I, I don't think I have the latest. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab the latest. We will handle that later. We're going to go ahead and create the spongy bone or compact bone surface. Okay, and that is now gonna show up in blue. Now what we can do is we can remove the purple and we're gonna see just the blue. And it's it, it, it's kind of weird, but I believe this is the information that we don't have from everything else. Now, I just wanna make certain we can try, we're gonna try selecting the largest surface. It may not work. Yeah, it didn't work. And uh, unfortunately, if we wanna, okay. So the largest surface is that. We're gonna go ahead and delete that because that's not what we want. Um, let's, so let's split all disconnected surfaces. Maybe that will work. This, this might have been a disaster. We're gonna find out. It says it is splitting. Does my CPU utilization agree with that? No, it does not. Invisalius is an open source program and therefore, oh, hey, it is doing it. I was gonna say, therefore, it may not be perfect, but it is definitely doing it. This might suck. Well, we're just gonna sit here and wait for it to do its thing. Somebody is now calling my cell phone. I can promise you that's a scam. Nobody calls my cell phone these days. Sorry, we're just waiting for stuff to get its job done. You know what I mean? Um, let's see what these other options are here. We've got, what is this? It doesn't tell you what these are. Oh, you can view it in stereoscopic 3D. Fancy. We're not going to do that. Oh, that's cool. It can just show you different things on it. Sorry, we're just waiting for the, the split disconnect to work. Um, likely, I'm going to get a lot of regions. Oh, and you guys can't even see the regions because my face is in the way. Uh, here, let me show you that. I'll move. I'll move my face. I don't know there. So these are the the 3D surfaces that I've been working with. Um, yeah, it's the data tab. But I'd like to move this somewhere. Can I move you? No. All right. Well, I guess my face will be awkwardly in the middle of myself. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I can throw me... Eh, that's alright. We'll move it later on, but we'll put me up in the corner for now. And apparently... Am I getting a message on Slack for some reason? I don't know. Alright, still waiting for stuff to go. I apologize for the delay, but, you know... You click the button and that's what happens sometimes, right? Here, I'll turn up the music a little bit. Oh, cool. We are, so uh, every year we do the IC3D Toys for Tots campaign. And we are a Toys for Tots Elf Hub this year. Yay! 
it means that we will be getting lots of toys in and uh, hopefully IC3D will help me ship them be or no we hand them off to people oh I'm so excited uh, the Toys for Tots campaign is a lot of fun we did like 200 or 300 parts uh, yeah live streams am I right yeah yeah but hey on the plus side, Queenlon, uh, this live stream doesn't suck like the, like the, uh, like that podcast did. We were, we just, my encoder kept getting overloaded and hilariously I'm running my old settings, but instead of, I used to stream at like 6,500 megabits per second. No, 6.5 megabits per second. Now I'm down to four megabits per second. I think it still looks all right. I did not do this yesterday. I just did the select largest service, but because it grabbed the pelvis rather than the spongy old bone, we kind of have to do it this way. So it's going to take a minute. Ain't nothing we can do about it. What are you? I hear, I hear upset noises. Oh yeah, we are getting upset noises. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. I think, and I mean, we're still processing anyways. I think I saved the model. I heard it clicking. And so it, it got uh, it got a little too hot, I think, or it jammed up. But hopefully we were able to save the model. And if not, that sucks, because it's been running for like, oh, something happened. I think I'm back. Holy crap. Whoa. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, my graphics driver just crashed. So, uh, that was fun. I apologize. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. This is like the third time this has happened. So, I think... Hi. Uh, Invisalius is gone. Uh, <laughs> uh, damn it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> sound loop? There's a sound loop? Oh, man. Uh, I apologize. We were in Invisalius, and uh, my graphics driver just crashed. I've been... I just updated to a new graphics driver, so I think I'm going to roll it back. Um... 
let me see if I can do it while streaming. This might be a stupid idea. Uh, you know what? Is there an echo? There shouldn't be an echo. Can somebody confirm for me whether or not there's an echo? You know what? Is there an echo? I, I, I listen to my own audio, so I, I, yeah, there's no echo on my side. Nadav, uh, sorry if you're getting echoing. So yeah, this is like the second or third time this has happened. Um, and for those that are having, uh, oh, the hum is normal. The hum is normal. That's the printers and stuff running behind me. Um, that's so weird. Okay. So for those that don't know, if for some reason your graphics, your screens go black, like mine did control shift windows key B will refresh your graphics driver. I swear, baby, that never happens. No, Quilon, this happens. Ugh, see, this is, these are the fun problems when you run a computer that's overclocked. Like, you know, we're, we're not running a, 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 a normal computer. We're relatively overclocked. Um, so yeah. Anyways, uh, I guess I have to redo that stuff. So let's open Invasalius again. <laughs> that happens. What are you going to do? Um, I am going to roll back my graphics driver because I never had this problem on the old graphics driver. So I'm going to roll back my graphics driver as soon as we're done with this stream. If it happens again, we are just going to go ahead and kill the stream. Um, not much I can do about that. It's just like, you know, what happens. Um, so we had to, we had to reimport the medical data. So let's do that. We are not this time, however, going to do uh, the crazy thing that we did last time. I guess I should get the music back on, huh? Let me turn it down all the way first. I don't want to upset people. There. But that was really weird. I got this like unhinged application error and then everything went dead. I think GeForce experience is dying on me. Uh, but I did see I just got a new graphics driver, so... I don't know. You would think with a 1080 Ti they would have had the graphics stuff figured out by now, but I guess not. Uh, the stories of doing things live, am I right, guys? <laughs> Alright, so there's the CT data again. This is what we want. We're gonna go ahead and import it. All right, so this time we want the spongy old bone. That's going to get us most of what we're looking for. We're going to go ahead and create the surface. Now that is going to take a little bit of time, unfortunately. And it is going to pin my CPU for just a hair. I can't believe my graphics driver failed on a live stream. I thought my whole computer crashed. Um, but I, so this is the benefit of having RGB like mice and keyboard, because if my computer crashed, the RGB goes away and I know that it's dead, but the RGB was still on. So it told me that we were still live. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Viper GTSR, it happened to me. Uh, one day and 16 hours ago was the last time this graphics driver crashed on me because that's when my Windows key was disabled in software and I couldn't reset it. So I re-enabled my Windows key in case this happened so I could uh, reset my GPU if needed. But yes, of course it happens on a live stream. But we're not losing, um, we're not losing frames anymore, so that's a plus. I wonder how many of my staff are yelling at me right now. Uh, nobody. Wow. None of our staff are watching the stream right now. I figured I'd be getting like half the staff yelling at me because, uh, your stream went down. <laughs> uh, oh, well. But hey, I got my Prusa Slicer stuff saved, so that's a plus, you know. 
All right, so we're going to go to advanced options one more time. We're going to select the larger surface because we know here it's going to get rid of that back bit as well as the scapula, not scapula, the rib cage crap. Um, so I need to move myself. We care even if the staff don't. Well, they're not paid to watch the live stream, so, you know, there's that. Uh... <laughs> Uh, all right, so we got that. This is good. That's what we wanted. Now we're going to go back to the region of interest because we went with spongial bone. Now we're going to go with, I think, full bone. Should get us the areas that spongial didn't cover. Uh, but you know what? Let's just uh, do, do, do. I, I just pinged my brother and he said WTF wow I can't believe that's happening and that's good that you were able to get it back up because yeah if I had to restart my computer this we would have been done um, it is interesting how the scan has layer lines already so disk um, the reason this occurs is because these are taking uh, three millimeters apart and they're th they're very thick so this is a CT so it's a continuous scan but they're, they're catching high detail every three millimeters. Uh, so let's, you know, let's do that, uh, what was it? The compact bone, adult. Do we wanna do that? I don't know if we wanna do that. Screw it, we'll create the surface. Let's see what happens. All right, so we got our surface. And what we can do is uh, down here at the bottom, we can remove it. We can actually see uh, this is your compact bone. Now, before we had our untimely demise of the stream, uh, can I get Fs in chat for the stream, by the way? Let's get some Fs in the chat for the stream. <laughs> Um, before the untimely demise of my GPU driver, uh, we were trying to separate this into component parts. And I just like looking at this, that's not a great move, I don't think. Like, definitely not a great move. Oh, hey, Disc, thanks for sharing uh, my live stream. I appreciate that. F to pay respects, that's right. Um, you can, and uh, Viper GTSR, I am going to do it on my FDM printer. This is one that I prepared earlier, the whole uh, Rachel Ray thing. But what I didn't do is I didn't get the discs, which hilariously is what I want out of all this. I want the discs. I don't want, uh, I don't want the bones, but the bones are kind of needed to do the discs. So, um, yeah. Thank you, Fs in the chat. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you for the Fs in the chat. Uh, so we got the compact bone, that's fine. Let's do regular bone now as well. We're gonna change the mask color to a bright, pretty blue. And we're gonna go ahead and create another surface. I appreciate you all in your ability to assist in paying respects to my GPU driver. <sighs> all right, so we got our new surface. We can see it. We do have some overlap here. We get rid of the blue, that's what we still have. We're gonna get rid of that green because that doesn't matter. Let's turn that on. And now we see 
where we get some nice overlap between it. We're gonna do the same thing on this surface. We're going to select the largest surface that should assist us in getting rid of some of that superfluous crap, which it absolutely did. Um, so we have these, no, I don't want that green. I want that, yeah. All right, so now we've got two surfaces that we're looking at. And this just gets us our bone. It's, I mean, honestly, this is pretty cool, right? Like, you can't tell me this isn't cool. It's weird as hell, but it's pretty darn cool. Uh, all right. Let's... We've got that. Now we're going to go back to another region of interest. And now I'm going to try to isolate the discs and this is the hard part and you know what i'm gonna be smart i'm gonna save my my project file which i've done previously but we're gonna do this uh we're gonna do this my back live so we're gonna save just in case this goes to hell in a handbasket again and my gpu driver crashes i'll at least have the work that we've done remember kids save often uh, yeah, you can see when I'm messing with my model because my GPU goes to the moon. <laughs> well, hey, on the bright side, it basically reset all the memory leaks in Chrome, so... Can't hate that. Can't hate it for resetting memory leaks in Chrome, quite frankly. That's... Is that a bug or a feature? I think the answer is yes. I think the answer is yes. Alright, now we're going to try to isolate... Uh, the actual disc and so I found that muscle tissue hilariously does a pretty decent job now what we can do here though is we can look at changing our well hmm oh it's also really oh soft tissue is what we wanted soft tissue is what we wanted but we can look at kind of changing the the range so I'm looking at yeah, this is a disc. Right here is one of the discs. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to start messing with the threshold to get rid of a lot of this excess and just try to keep as much of the disc as possible. Hey, 3D Monkey, how you doing? I appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, we are... Uh, we're running the gauntlet on, on, uh, on the fail train today. Uh, okay, that got rid of a lot of the excess crap. This is great. Let me go down to a hundred and see if we can tune it in. So unfortunately, discs are soft and squishy. So are a lot of the things that you're looking at, right? I, oh, and see, I cut it down and now the discs aren't there anymore. So let's go to 150. And all we're doing is we're just meshing, messing with that threshold to try and get more of those discs on. So as we go up, we're catching more of the disc. So what I want to look at is 160. How do we look on 160? We look okay on 160. Discs are soft and squishy. Yeah, same. I feel that. And if you're wondering, uh, my spinal cord runs basically somewhere in this general region i'm not a doctor i'm just looking at my own damn spine um i'm gonna go to 25 positive 25 here and see see what that does i kind of like monster cat silk for these uh for these live streams it's a little bit cleaner right I don't know, you guys tell me. So we're still picking up some of the skin, which we definitely don't want. Yes, my skin is out here. Um, so we can go into the manual edition where we can look at the brush. What we want to do is we want to erase. Now, unfortunately, this means like basically every one of these layers and there's 108 of them. I have to go through manually and delete the stuff we don't want. That's where it becomes problematic. So let's find another clean image of a disc.
there was a couple of shots where you get like the full disc in there uh and so i don't know what watershed does it it's not like overtly clear to me but on the manual edition you can come in here and you can literally just say you know goodbye i don't want you here Ooh, that is why are we lagging what's going on oh it must must just be the program I hope. Okay. I've still got music. When it, when, when I lost my music last time, that is when everything went, went kind of crazy. Are we good? Okay. It's hard to see myself move on the mainstream, so I can't tell if I'm actually still streaming or my computer's crashed and I just don't know it yet. Ah... The joys of doing things live. By the way, we're working in Lychee Slicer, too. That's been fun. All right. So I'm just going to go through and start. Oh, yeah. This is the program. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is chugga-chugging through. I wonder if I... Uh I'll make my brush smaller if that will help. A little bit, but not really. Yeah, the program is slowing down. Okay, well that's a plus. It makes me feel a little bit better that it's not my old ass computer. By the way, I'm gonna be hopefully doing a computer upgrade here pretty soon. Would you guys wanna watch, watch a live stream of that or? Something I don't know or would that be I don't think that's a good channel video. I don't think that really fits with our channel, but I Would watch it, but I don't think anybody else would All right, so we got the one now you got to go up to the next layer We basically have to do this over and over and over again, which is kind of crazy There's got to be a better way. I bet that I can work on cleaning up this mask some. What if we went to... Uh, let me go back down that layer. I got to find another disc that I haven't touched. There. All right. What if we go to 50? What happens? Okay. So going, going high is better. All right. Let's go to 75. before and after i mean jonathan a snail would be better than what i'm working with here right i'm at 60 plus percent of cpu live streaming and one program and i just reset chrome so like most of my chrome tabs haven't reloaded themselves <laughs> uh, so all right going okay going up seems good let's go to 80 There is not a lasso area option, and Bill, even further, you have to do it on every single layer. So, yeah, uh, it's an open source program, right? I, I can't, like, exactly expect a crazy amount out of it. So, like, you can do a brush type here, right? Or watershed, but I, I don't know what watershed means. Uh, and I messed around with it, but I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I mean, that's getting most of the disc. Let's go to 90 and cause I, I, I'm trying to cut away a lot of this chaff and, and be left with the good stuff. This song is just really quiet at the front in the beginning. Okay. Um, now, if we go to, let's say, 80, which got us more of the disc. Actually, I think it got us a lot more of the disc. Yeah. 70 got us almost all of the disc. There is... There is... Uh, so, you know what? Um, yeah, let's, let's create the surface. Um, and I'm going to change this to orange. So let's create the surface. There is an option for selecting a certain area, but I don't understand it. So maybe you guys will have to help me figure it out. 
watching my computer to make sure it is not exploding. And unfortunately, 3D Slicer is no better. It's worse than Invisalius. Invisalius at least comes with, like, you know, pre-tuned stuff. Um, this does not. Or, uh, 3D Slicer does not. We're just waiting on this little bar down here to get its job done. Ah, the fun things about live streams. See, like, in a real video, I could just cut this out. Uh, and don't forget, guys, at 2 p.m. Eastern, so in about an hour, we are premiering a video. It is all about a CR-10 V3 clone that I bought. Uh, and I'm still kind of debating if I think it's hot garbage or if I think it wasn't a bad deal. It's probably somewhere in between the two. Ooh, I think Invisalius froze on me. Nope. Okay, we're still moving. All right, that's great. That's good. Good to hear. Good to hear. All right, there's our new model. Yeah. Real problematic, isn't it? Oof. So, we can select a region of interest here. But I'm not exactly certain how to do that. If I can, like, you know, draw around that. It doesn't really tell me how to select it. And that's been my thing. So, manly insert seeds of region of interest and create a new surface. I don't know see I don't know how to in, to add these and I think that's the big issue um, hmm oh hey select parts That might work. It definitely cleaned it up some, but it's still leaving me with a bunch of crap. Uh, I'm gonna call it disc. I guess this is what this does. Huh. If you guys know, let me know in those comments, because I ain't got a dang clue, man. Oh, wait, I can crop. I wonder if I crop out everything that I don't want it to look at. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, hmm. Let's try that one more time. Mask. I'm gonna do it over here on this one because like my region of interest is uh, basically there oh my face is over it of course my face is over it this time oh well all right that's my region of interest let's see what happens you know what let's also eh, we'll be all right you know what no let's save the project before we before we do the crop, let's save the project because if the crop goes wrong, we can always reload the project, right? Big brain moves right here. Unless it crashes the program. I mean there, you know, that that could be a thing too. Because it is not responding. Oh, don't tell me I gotta have F's in chat for more stuff today. 
We might need another F in chat. <laughs> How big are these files? Oh no, no, it's mad. Yep, it's mad. Yep, it's mad. Uh, I think we just killed Invasalius. Maybe. Oh, hey, we didn't kill it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Your face when you don't kill the program you thought you killed. All right, so I'm expanding that. Let's crop it. I want to see what happens. Dude. Oh, that's so much easier. It's going to give me way less data that I have to get rid of. I mean, it's not amazing, but... All right, so I'm going to... Generate a new surface. No. It didn't update. Interesting. We don't want to export this yet. My, my preference would be that we... Uh, So I'm making it transparent just to see what we're looking at still. Hmm. I want that to create that 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 new that new one. Let's see if that will generate it. Okay, so no, it did not like that. Yeah, did, it did not like the crop. The crop failed. So that did not work. That is okay. I just got to find all the other stuff that I need here. All right, I don't care about the blue. I don't care about that. We care about that. Yes, we do. And we'll turn that on. All right. Not great, but that's okay. Um, we're going to export a... Oh, actually, let's... Um, we're going to fill the holes. Let's see what happens. This could have been a really stupid move. There's no way it happened that fast. Huh. All right, whatever. We're going to export the 3D surface. Going to do it as spine live. Next thing I'm going to do is... Uh, I think explorer.exe is crashed because that doesn't work. I don't know. Waiting for it to do its thing. Okay. Yeah, I can't click on here anymore, so I'm pretty sure this is all trashed. Oh well. No big deal. Alright, I'm going to install Mesh Mixer. Um, so I will be right back.
Okay. I think we got it. This is Mesh Mixer. Hopefully it's the latest one. I don't know if it is. But let's grab our model. Let's throw it in. Uh, while that's doing its thing, let me make sure. Does it hate me? It hates me a little bit. Um, we're going to save this and then we're going to go ahead and kill it. We're not using 3D Slicer, so we can get rid of that. Yeah, this might take some time, which is not a surprise to me whatsoever. Thank you guys for coming out too, by the way. I do appreciate it. I know some of these streams are not the most fun. I'm trying to get better at it. It is definitely not my specialty at the moment. Uh-oh. Explorer.exe just crashed. So we'll see if we survive this. Ah. <laughs> uh. Fun times. That is not Monster Cat Silk. Next song, please. We're still alive. All right, stream is still alive. Okay, this is a plus. You, Invasalius, you hate everything. You're going away. We're gonna use Mesh Mixer. Cause maybe Mesh Mixer is gonna be nice to me. By the way, uh, let me open this back up, back into downloads. That's a three, oh, it's a 371 megabyte STL file. No wonder it's taking so long. I have a feeling Mesh Mixer is broken. So, what are you gonna do? Mesh Mixer is stopped, but yeah, 371 megabyte STL file. No kidding. Uh, where's the one that I made previously? Uh, yeah, see, that one's only 58 megs, which is still a very big STL file, by the way. That is monumentally large. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to have to reopen Invasalius and clean that up some. No kidding, it got it. Now that is, uh, that is something. Please tell me you can use my GPU and not my CPU, please. Because if we use, if you use my CPU, we have no chance of this working. Uh, let's see if there are settings that I can use. Preferences, haha. -ha. Uh, that's not gonna help me. Hmm. Oh, well, okay. Too bad. All right. Can I even rotate this? Oh, I can. Hey, it does a pretty decent job on the rotation. Sweet. All right. So now we're going to use mesh mixture and we're just going to start cutting crap out. So we want to get our select tool. I'm going to try to see if I can just click on that main surface. I wonder, does this work with my 3D connection? It does not appear that it does. Oh, no, it, it's lagging. Okay. Oh, so Bill Todd says he can't seem to get Invisalius to run on Ubuntu dependency issues. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. It's a, this is the software. Invisalius is bad on Windows. So, I mean, on, on something else. Yeah. Oh, hey, my 3D connection does work. Sweet. 
What are you hitting? Are you hitting my... Yes, you're hitting my GPU! That's right! Hell yeah! I don't want that. Stop that. And I take my, my... My phone is hitting buttons. Alright, so... Let's see if we can select this surface. And we're just going to start cutting away at this. Right, and so we have a lasso tool inside a mesh mixer. And I guess, oh, now I, I can move myself back down to where I belong. Down on the corner. Um, yeah, so we got that. And now we can go into edit. And uh, I think it's discard is what we want to do. Yeah, I think discard is what we want. Let's see what happens. It's selecting a lot. So hopefully it doesn't discard the things that I want. We'll see. Ultimately, if I can't get the discs, I can't get the discs. I think I have to manually go through and color every one of them. Um, I'm planning on doing a channel video on this if I can figure it out. Um, and I think you do have to like painstakingly go through. Yeah, it, it, it literally cut. Yep. Yep. It cut away that entire thing. So let's undo that. A little control Z action. It's going to hate me, right? Because, you know, problems. But we kind of know where the spine is. So we can lasso around it and try to get rid of some of that material. So we'll start with that first. Waiting for the undos to work. I believe this has a method to undo. Maybe it doesn't. It does. Cool. Uh, give me just a second here. I got an email that I need to look at real fast. Okay, that's fine. No problemo. All right, so let's get the lasso. And what we want to do is we want to just basically take... Oh, yeah, look at that back curve, by the way. I should be an Instagram model. Look at that spine curve, right? Come on. I think we just hit the delete key. And it goes away. It may, it might, I might have to hit a different key. Sweet. That does work. All right. Uh... I'm just going to start cutting away, cutting away, cutting away. And if we end up selecting something that we don't want to cut away, like a part of the bone... I can come back and fix that later on, but I think that's okay. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. And all we're doing is we're reducing the triangle meshes right now. You can see there's a lot of crap going on here. That is beautiful. God, I wish it was this easy to lose weight. Just like, all right, we're going to grab the fat off of the back. We're going to just do that, and we're going to hit <laughs> fix it in post. This is... Well, no, this is actually how it would be done. This is not a fix it in post thing. Like, this is exactly how you're supposed to do it. Yes, if I spent a lot of time in Invasalius, I could probably get this sorted, but eh. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't care too much about the hips. I don't know. How bad is my GPU? Oh, yeah, baby. We're actually making it sweat a little bit. What a surprise. All right, so we can come up here. Uh, we can go to the select tool again. Grab our lasso tool. Uh, 
Again, all we're trying to do here is reduce the triangle count. By the way, if you are watching and you haven't liked the stream, go like the dang stream. Uh, and if you are going to be available, come hang out at the top of the hour on the... Uh, we are doing a YouTube premiere of, of a video. I'm excited for that. I like the premieres. They're fun, but they're more fun when there's a lot of people hanging out. I wish there was a way to do like a 3D selection because like you can see I don't need any of that. I need to get to the like the actual spine. Trying to get rid of all the little pieces. And I, w I wonder if there's a way to do that inside a mesh mixer. That's like a really easy way of saying, hey, if it's under this amount... I believe if I, uh, I think I can turn on object browser. That's what I want. Oh, it's one piece. Okay. I thought we would get lucky and we can get it in multiple pieces, but I guess not. All right. Uh, let's keep going. Let's see if we can separate the shells and see and see if that works. Because what we can do is potentially just grab a bunch of the shells that don't matter and kill them and be left with the ones that we want where we can look at kind of sculpting things in. Um, this might this might be rough. Eh, that's not that bad. I want to build a 5900X. That is my goal this year to build a 5900X computer. I would very much like to do that. I think it would remove a lot of my problems. Keep the 1080 Ti, but build a 5900X computer. I want to do it. I want to do it. There are a lot of shells here, so I'm not too surprised by the fact that it's taking a while. Um, I mean, literally, well, is it going to let me move? No, it won't even let me move. Every one of those little, like, floating bits is going to be a separate shell. Um, and so once we're done separating the shells, hopefully this works. I should have I saved it. I didn't save it. That's a bit my fault. Uh, but once we're done separating the shells, we will be able to save it first. We'll save it. Uh, and then we can look at potentially just removing a lot of that extra fluff that we don't need. Because really all that I want from this pink shell is just, just the discs. Everything else I don't care about. I wonder if I can find a threshold for discs. Ah, well, that doesn't work. I, I googled threshold for vertebral discs, but uh, it did not come up with anything useful. RIP! RIP! And there it goes. And there it goes. Mesh Mixer, can I get an F in the chat for Mesh Mixer? It's dead, Jim. So unfortunately, I gotta do the whole thing again. Ooh! Hey! It restores things! Hell yes! 
Let's see if it works, but... Yeah, so, uh, Mesh Mixer didn't like that. Can I get an F in the chat for Mesh Mixer? <laughs> we'll see if this can even open it again. I don't think it can. Oh, it did! It did! Woo! Oh, and I can move again. All right. Hey, and it got me, like, right where we had left off before we tried to do, uh, you know, some stupid stuff. Oh, you are so mad. Why are you mad right now? Oh, I pi I am pinning a 1080 Ti when I am spinning this. That's right. I have found a, a <laughs> STL file that can pin. Dear Lord, have mercy. We're going to save this as a mesh mixer file. Give me just a second to do that. Yeah. So, we're we're probably not ready uh to, you know, to do that yet, but we're we're trying. We're trying. Waiting for it to save. We gotta save. It's like all this, this BS right here. Let me see if I can get rid of this. Select, we'll use the lasso tool again. It's really lagging. Why are we lagging so much? Oh, literally, because anytime I move it, we pin the 1080. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Uh, I want to see... Okay, basic rendering is on. Okay, well, rip. And our object browser still only has one thing in it. The goal is for us to get less than one thing in it. All right, well, we're gonna have some fun. I don't think this is gonna hurt anything. But I don't know how, I, I'm hoping it just kind of selects inside of that lasso, which it appears to have done. Okay. Ah, dang, I cut too much and I cut through my own vertebrae. Oh, and you know what? The discs aren't even there. Like, the discs aren't even there. Because that's where a disc should be. Looks like someone just took a bite out of my leg. Alright, we're going to undo that. Okay. Uh... Ooh, you know what? Let's do the select tool, and I'll, if I use a sphere brush, it might work. Oh, it's mad again. Okay, so it, yeah. It's selecting the whole thing. Let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a halfway analysis so we can take a look at it. Are we 
we okay? I can hear you com complaining a little bit, but... I'm trying to make sure everything's okay back there. It's mad again. Oh God. Uh, no. Let's not do that. How's that sound? We're gonna not. We're gonna not do that and say we did. I have a feeling that unfortunately this isn't going to work um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to clean it up enough and from what we could see it just wasn't um, it, 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 it wasn't there if that makes sense trying to clean it up a little bit more because again a lot of these floating polygons are the problem And of course, I'm not the best mesh, mesh mixer out there, so I'm not entirely certain what to do. I want to be able just to like select things on a surface level, but what it's doing is it's it goes and ends up selecting the whole dang shell. I wonder if I just get like let me let me try this. Something like that. What happened? Let's see. If I delete that, what happens? Are we cutting into any discs yet? Mm, no. No. Eh, a little bit up here, but... Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that we succeeded today. Um, that's what happens sometimes. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, bit of a bummer. But I, like, don't necessarily know what we can do. If that makes sense. So, I, for those that are joining us... Where's Bruce Slicer? There it is. This is the spine model, but I need it to not have all this crap on it. I wonder. Ooh, I wonder. Hold on. I'm going to export...
I'm gonna do spine live mix. Yeah, so it has man, it has issues, but I'm wondering if I can separate all the shells within Prusa Slicer. Because if I can do that, then I can get rid of all this extra BS. So th this is my theory. We're gonna try this. Um, we're gonna open up Prusa Slicer. This thing is doing its compute job. Hey, we lost like almost a hundred megs from it. That's a plus. All right, so let's get that out of here. Let's get this in here. It's going to yell at me. I'm certain of it. Uh, Prusa Slicer might just crash. I, I don't know if it can handle. Oh, it can handle an STL this big. Sweet. All right, so let's do the thing we know is gonna Prusa Slicer is gonna hate us for. Joe, I'm sorry. Oh boy. Let's see what happens. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Holy crap, it worked. It is 4,100. <laughs> Rip. F's in the chat for Prusa Slicer. F's in the chat. It's gone. It's gone. F's in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. I mean... I did just split, and I've got enough RAM, Prusa Slicer. You can go to hell. I've got plenty of RAM. I got, I got 16 gigs of RAM available. <laughs> I want to try it one more time. Um, Cause I know if, if I, if I do, um, cause like you can come in here and you can make solid. I don't think it's going to come out well. Um, we can try it, but I don't think it's going to work. All right. Prusa slicers loaded. We're going to make solid. I, I think it's going to end up looking like crap because of all the little extra pieces. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Ah, sorry. Haven't I have not had a good back day in a while. That model looks so good. Let's see what happens once this is done. Oh. Shit, this is what I wanted to do in the first place. The make solid was the right tool, but you, if you look at it, the discs aren't there. So it doesn't matter. The discs are not there. Oh, that's a, that's a fun one. But yeah, because the discs aren't here, this won't work. Uh, so unfortunately, although I do like that, um, I'm going to save it as a new file. But I'm going to load in just the spine that I have done, the STL of the spine. I'm going to make that solid and see if it ends up looking right. Because this, this came out 
honestly way better than I was expecting. What I'm mad about is I'm pretty sure that we had the discs in here and uh, they definitely didn't come out. So bummer there. This would be way easier for Prusa Slicer to work on though. So let me export. It's fine. Okay, Prusa Slicer, I'll let you off easy. You won't have to do that one. We'll wait for the STL. Sorry, it's not, you know, the most fun live stream we've had, but I figured this would be cool for you guys to kind of get an idea. Initially, the channel video was going to push people to this live stream to see how to do it, but, I mean, the bone is pretty simple. It's the soft tissue, which is what I really want. That's the problem. Still 291 megs. Crazy. All right, so we're going to open a new file. Oh, or we're not. Uh, yeah, we'll import. We'll import, uh, which one of these did we like? None of those. So it was the spine sans discs. That's what we want to import. And see, this just looks a lot cleaner. I am going to get rid of the ribs in there, and that should be pretty simple for me to do. Um, so let's get it facing straight. We're going to go to select. Select. Uh, we'll use the lasso. Just kind of removing it here. Ah, crap. I could use the control key to do that. Actually, having a 3D connection is really useful. Control click to remove. Cause like I don't need the ribs in here. They don't they don't do anything. Well, I mean, for what I'm doing right now, they are not useful. Okay, we got those selected, and I think if I just hit delete, they should go away. Yep. Cool. Okay. Lasso around that bit. Delete. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, now we can go to edit. We make solid and we see what happens. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Gosh, that is so much better. You can see bone porosity. That's so cool, man. Um, I do need to come here. So, it didn't fill it the way that I was hoping. I can still see that it's hollow in there. Uh, let's see. I can try erase and fill, but I don't think that's going to work. Uh, I clicked remesh, and I don't know if that worked. I want it to be solid. I'm trying to make that... I'm trying to close the hole is what I'm trying to do. That's not going to work. All right. Let me try something in Prusa Slicer. So we know this model is, well, it is one piece. So let's get it repaired. We can do that while we're still working on this. Yeah, because like, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the net fab repair in Prusa Slicer will work kind of what I'm hoping for. Kind of what I'm hoping for. Just waiting for it to work here. Okay. Model repaired successfully according to Prusa Slicer. I am immensely concerned. Oh, you know what? Let's, this is my big resin quoting. Let's go to an MK3S. Cause like, I don't know what size this is. Yeah, it's huge. Okay. Uh, let's, let's bring this to 50%. Oh, but that's so tiny. 25? Nope, won't fit. Uh, 60? 60 fits. 69. Damn it! 65% <laughs> will fit. Chiju Box 3.0 has a back repair option. Just update your firmware and sign on the dotted line. I like you, Bill. I like you. 
honestly, at this point in my, it, 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 with dealing with this back injury, I, I, I prob, I probably sign it. Yeah, I, I probably sign the dotted line. I, I ain't even, I ain't even playing, like straight up. I probably sign that dotted line because you know what? I've never slept worse in my life. I've never been more uncomfortable just living in my life. Everything is painful. I, I cannot describe to you what back pain is like and persistent back pain at that, right? Some people end up with, you know, some sort of back pain throughout their life, right? And that and, and that's that's pretty normal. But it goes away. This is persistent. It never goes away away and I cannot stop it and it is terrible but that is hilarious I, I I do appreciate a good meme good memes are appreciated I'm gonna try everywhere let's just see what happens it is gonna pin my CPU so we'll see how that goes but I'm gonna end the stream pretty much as soon as this is done because I'm feeling like crap. Um, and I really need to, I need to get up and move. I am 31 years old, Bill. I've never been, never been not public about that. I don't care if people know my age. Um, yeah, 31. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping to get surgery. I mean, that's that's kind of where we're moving. I have another injection on Friday, but um, this last one didn't didn't do anything really positive for me. It made it easier to stand, but it's worse to sit now. So, like, what's the point? Um, I can't stand all day. Um, my legs will go numb pretty quickly. Just waiting for this to do its thing. I mean, this thing's going to be all support material, and, like, I know it. I'm just curious to see what it looks like. We're going to have to fill in some stuff, uh, but I'll likely end up doing that off camera. My hope was that I was going to be able to isolate the discs, but it appears that streaming while doing it is a little bit too taxing on the program, so um, we might have to try it a different way. No big deal. Yeah, I hope they fix me up too. Uh, Bill says, I hope they fix you up. Best of luck. I hope they fix me up too. If nothing else, you guys always get to come along for the ride. Um, you know, because why not? Let's have some fun, right? Oh, see, the model's still messed up. When it does support material like this, it's because it thinks the model... It, it, it thinks there's something wrong with the model. But you know, I could probably print this. It's just going to suck to remove the support material. Come on! How long can you hate my computer? <laughs> I just want to see how long it's going to take. That's all. That's all I really want to see. We're 
We're almost there. We're almost there. Slicing complete, it tells me. Don't crash, baby. Don't crash. There you go. One day, 17 hours and 19 minutes. It's going to use the better part of half a kilo of filament. And yeah, because it's all it's all just support material. That's pretty cool though. You got to admit that's pretty darn cool. I'm not going to call this stream a success, but I'm also not going to call it a failure. I I, I think that we've learned things and you know I showed you guys how to get it for bone it's pretty easy for bone um, but I'm gonna keep working at the soft tissue um, anyways I will see you all in about 10 minutes we're gonna be doing a premiere over on the channel so if you haven't left a like please make sure you do if you're not subscribed please get that taken care of I will see you in a few minutes don't forget to call your loved ones and as always keep making awesome We'll see you later. Oh gosh, I'll, I'll, if I don't if I don't do this, people will get mad at me. Hold on, hold on. There, there. I, 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 I. My, half the company yells at me if I don't end live streams of crab rave. <laughs> I like Monster Cat Silk. I think we're gonna use that for live streams from now on. I think the other stuff is too hardcore. This was great. Um, I don't know. I'm not pissed. So, I think all things considered knowing that this was going to be a challenge we got something to occur and i think what put, put your face back on here i think ultimately because we got something out of this um it still needs work right uh but i, I call that a success i call it a failure though because we didn't get the parts that i wanted so i still have to work on figuring that out i've got about six hours in preparation for this and i'm like okay i think i can do this and i was in the process of it the computer died it's just yeah oh well what are you gonna do roll the punches improvise adapt and overcome but yeah see you guys in a few minutes take care